Hey developers, so today I'm gonna to show you guys something a little different. It's called the Tangi Play. It's basically this. So you can see here, this is a, these are little devices that you can put on your iPad and play a game with. So it teaches your kids how to program. So I'm gonna show you some footage of my kids trying it out and I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about it and where you guys can pick it up if you're interested. Okay, so here is the Kickstarter. So um, what it is, is it's a tangible coding learning toys for kids aged four and plus. So I'm not being sponsored by this. P these people actually just got this in the mail as a review unit, so I tried it out. So I just wanna kind of talk to you guys a little bit about it. So it's really good for really young kids. I'd probably say if your kids are a lot older, it may not be the right, um, right way to teach them how to program, but if they're younger, I think definitely this is the way to go. So if we look at this, uh, you can take a look here that they only have a few more days left. So if you're watching this now and you're interested, I'll make sure I'll put a link in the description of where you guys can find this. And um, you can see if you click back this project, I think it's only, a, uh, it depends on which one, it's like $60 for the early bird or $2 or more if you just wanna kinda donate some money to them. And the estimated delivery is December of 2019. And the cool thing is, is they've already hit their goal, so you shouldn't have to worry about not receiving it. So here is, you can see you get these little uh, these little robots, and each one of these robots, um, you can't really see here from the video, but they have, they do different things. Like this one is a end loop, and then I have ones that are, well, maybe I'll look back full screen. Like this one right here says loop, and then this one says call function, and this one is like an else, so you can do like if else conditionals as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, one, another, a few other things you can do is uh, if you look down here, it's 100% fully funded. So like they said, and you work, you have to have an iPad. So you can see here in the screenshot, there's these functions. So it has like this map that you have. You, when you start the map, you have you have this little train, and you got to bring this train from one area to the other, and you use functions like move forward, lay down track add power, and then you can have an uh, end function, and then you can do loops and things like that. Um, so yeah, I mean, here's an example of it right here. So you can see here, this F is like for a function, and you can move down, lay the track, move down, lay the track, move left, lay the left track, and then you can end the function. And then you basically play it, and you it either finishes or you end up crashing, but you put these things down to actually lay the track and you can kind of spin it around on the iPad. So it's a little bit more interactive than just using the touch on the screen. So yeah, Magic Wow Interaction. You can rotate it. They have 120 different puzzles in it. Um, there's like some fun secrets, which I haven't even gotten that far. We were just doing the basic ones. And you can even create your own story because you can. each one of these has its own face that you can put on and you can, uh, you can have little different faces on these too, which is cool. All right, so let me show you a little bit of what my kids did and uh, I'll kind of walk you through you guys. So this is my daughter, Vivian. She's gonna explain to us more about the game. She has the iPad open. She's showing us the differences between the basic or simple and the more advanced setting. So you can kind of have a beginner setting and a more advanced setting. And she's, uh, my son is on the beginner setting and she's on the more advanced setting. So let's see what she says. On the, the good or the mode I'm on, where's space? It doesn't go when um, you have to do this. Ah, this one, oh, I need to put it on the place. Um, and it. then we have this, but it only does that until you press start. So, so it's different. That one's hard mode and it does that. I meant that one's um, beginner mode and this one's starter. But I'm actually on a different level because, yeah, because I'm actually over here and there's different like sections. Like we have, we have like, it looks like we have five sections. All right, and here is my son. He's explaining all the different Tangi Play robots, and you can kind of mix and match the 
uh, eyes that they have. So he's just kind of playing around with that, explaining it and talking about it. Uh, he really does like this game too. So yeah, let's listen in. I could show you all the train track. Plessy. Picketizy. Equal. And then this one, this one. And then this one, this one. See, these are just the eyes we're just showing. We're gonna put them out. So about this, um, um, so we're gonna, um, uh, walk. Okay, so we need walk. This is not walk. Sometimes it mess up and thinks this is train track, but it isn't. And this is where train track. Because you see it on top of it, you can kind of see it. Train track. We're gonna do this finally. This is a harder level. I did this off camera. Uh, with the um, with the other parts, this is not the first go, but here there's switch around, there's walking. Alright, and here is Vivian's final thoughts on the game. So she's been playing around with it for a while, so let's see what she thinks. But anyways, yeah, I think it's a pretty good game, especially for beginners. And then train track, because then I'll show you what happens. Play, and then we'll have to pause it. Hey, so I hope you guys liked this video and learned all about Tangi Play. Like I said, the link will be in the description if you guys want to hear more about it. And also make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And uh, if you want me to do more videos like this, yeah, leave a comment. Let me know if I should. I've done a few videos with my kids in it and I like teaching people to program and I like te teaching uh, my kids to program. So thanks.